I changed Queen Madonna from the Facebook group Everything is Food. I just arrived. It's Friday. Um, the uh, March, uh, I believe, March 23rd, 2018. Royal Hibachi Grill and Buffet, Saddlebrook, New Jersey. Off Route 46 West. I am going right for the duck, whatever's left of it. Roast duck. The duck that's out of luck. You know, now I know why it's out of luck. Scraps. Nothing but scraps left. Well, slim pickings. Slim pickings for the duck. All right. Um, I could get some of those shrimps. A little, a little surf and turf. There's a Mongolian barbecue. Party room. I told them they should have a, a hook, make a hookah lounge out of it and have belly dancers in there. All right, here's the uh, sushi bar. All right. Let's see what we got here, flounder, flounder filet. How are you doing, buddy? How are you? There he is. The Hi. chef the chef of the future, the chef of the best. How are you? Good, good. All right. That's the, the best thing about this place is the mystery of you never know what entree is going to find. Yes. Yes, always something different. Always something different. Yes. Right. All right. Uh, yeah. Okay, you know what? I was going to get some shrimp, but let me, um, you know what I'll do? I'll check out the fried calamari. The fried calamari right now is all crumbs. Crumbs calamari. Oh my God, look at this. I'm a day late and a calamari short. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Eh, they'll bring out more. They'll bring out more. No tentacles, but what are you gonna do? All right, this should this should do it. Right, put a little marinara sauce on here. Um, now what I'm actually, but you know, to be honest with you, here we got some platanos maduros. Um, to be honest with you, these are not bad. These fried shrimps are actually quite good. They look like they're butterfly, butterfly, butterfly fried shrimp. They're very tasty. I think it's the quality of the batter, and also, if the oil is hot enough, the fried food will not be greasy. That's one thing that the average person doesn't know. When you deep fry, the oil must be must be very hot. There he is. Good. All right. Rolled grape leaves. I'm gonna have to catch that on the way back. But I do need lemons. Actually, you know what? This is not gonna. This is not going to do. I'm going to have to get a clean. Oh, look how far I got to stretch these lemons. I need lemons for my water. And I also need lemons for the, for the flounder, actually. Um, where did I get Deliberately put it there, over there because they know how much I love lemons. Interesting. This 
There's an accident waiting to happen. Oh, sure enough, an accident waiting to happen. Well, there goes the cup. The cup is useless to me. New Zealand green lip mussels. Richest source so far. One of the richest source of omega-3 fatty acids and very good for arthritics. Fresh, fresh mozzarella, tomato, in honor of uh, the king of moots, Salvatore Mercurio. Okay. Salvatore Mercurio, dessert table. I haven't tried that yet. I have no idea what that is. It's like a German, it's like a German chocolate cake. Here's super fudge cake, so on and so forth. But of course, I will wait for the tray leche to come out later. Okay, here we are. A big, a big um, menagerie of what I call surf and turf to start it off for this Friday here at Royal Hibachi. Grill and Buffet, Route 46 West, Saddlebrook, New Jersey. Okay, round two, here we go. <laughs> Get some, pick up where I left off, where I didn't have room. Some rolled grape leaves. Some rolled grape leaves. Okay, in honor of Mario Petrus, the creator, rolled grape leaves. All right. Just want to say, Hello to uh, Salvatore Mercurio, the, the king of moots, the grand imperial mystic ruler, the grand poobah of mozzarella, of lactation, king of lactation. Did they put out more calamari? Yes, they did. Do I want any right now? I don't know. I know what I'm going for. I'm going some for some nice grilled... Um, Brussels sprouts, okay, many people do not like Brussels sprouts, just like they don't like mushrooms, but I don't care, I love them, it's in the cabbage family, like little punching bags, okay, grilled Brussels sprouts, now, I could grab some cauliflower, you know what? Let me take a big chunk of cauliflower. Cauliflower, also in the cabbage trim. Okay. Here's some squash. Uh, zucchini along with yellow squash. I'm going to let that pass. All right, let me see what we got going here. This is the Chinese entrees. Uh, I guess steamed dumplings. Oh, look at that. Steamed dumplings or a sticky bun. General Tso's chicken. No one in, at any Chinese takeout can explain to me who General Tso is. Every time I every time I ask a, chi a Chinese takeout well, who General Tso is, you know the chicken. Uh -huh. Nobody knows who he was. General Tso. You know who I gotta do, I gotta do research on Google. I gotta find out who this guy is. General So, or two So, yeah, General So's chicken. Then there's General Chen. There's another guy I have to, I have to look up. Uh, you can find everything on Google, I guess. Uh, sticky, it's like sticky pork bun, I guess. All right. Whiting. Uh, I'm too lazy to deal with the bones. I'm gonna pass. Let me check on, see if they put out the hardcore sushi yet. Not yet, I'm gonna wait. Unagi's good though. This is, um, nah, nah, nothing hardcore. Not yet, they might put it out. All right. I love these, uh, Mr. Salvatore Mercurio, Mario Petrus, and Natalia Rodriguez. 
Anthony Laura, Nick Von Raven, Nathan Bates. I love these soup bowls with the handle, these Asian soup bowls. I always thought they were nice. <laughs> they were playing some crazy ass ghetto music before. I'm just, you know, making fun of it. Okay, what do we got? Uh, it looks like salmon filet. All right. I'm gonna wait for the hardcore uh, sushi. So nobody knew who General Tezo was. Nobody knew, nobody knew. Okay. I don't see any lamb. I'm disappointed, I'm disappointed. Beef kebab. You know what? Oh, some greens over there. That should be healthy. Maybe those are chopped collard greens. Uh, ah, you know what? Let me try one. Let me try a kebab. Let me try a grilled kebab. No relation to Bob Aluch or Bob Ballistic. All right. Bob Aluchi. Isn't that funny? See what we got here. It doesn't say what it is, but it certainly looks like collard greens. I'll tell you, you take raw greens of any kind and put it through a good quality, slow masturbating ju a juice extractor, like the, um, the Omega, like the one Mario Petrus, the creator uses, the slow masturbating juicer. And if you don't detoxify from raw uh, leafy greens, Dark leafy greens, you'll never detoxify. General Tzo, General Tzo. I say so what, right? This calamar came out, all right. All right, no tentacles. I'll take two rings. I'll take two rings. All right, here's the fruit. We got the kiwi. Oh, it's very, very good for digestion. And 500 times more effective than cough syrup. Fresh piña, pineapple. Here's cantaloupe. Naranja, orange, strawberries. Chocolate, I mean, whatever. These are, I think, um, I think either loquats or lychees. I gotta get some when I come back to dessert. Kumquat, loquat, or lychee? Was that lychee or, or loquat or kumquat? What? This, yeah. that, lychee? Kumquat, loquat, uh, cojones uh, fruit? Yeah, all right, no problem, no problem. Okay, here we go. Here we go, in honor of uh, Salvatore Mercurio, okay? I'm gonna go for some fresh mozzarella. In honor of the, the the emperor of moots, the emperor of mozzarella, Salvatore Mercurio, the imperial uh, grand high exalted mystic wizard of mozzarella, of all lactation and cheese making. All right. This is round two, and according to how I feel, it might be the last round before dessert. If they do not put out any hardcore sushi and sashimi. Okay, here we go. Tray, the tray leche is out and they put a dent in it already. There's some baklava. Alright, I'll have, I'll have a small piece. Leche for the tray leche. All right. Seems to be 
adequate. Um, you know what? Instead of the chocolate cake, maybe I'll just have an ice cream. Or maybe some fresh pineapple. Can't go wrong with fresh pineapple. Alright, have one. for digestive purposes. Hey, what happened? There's no chocolate or vanilla ice cream? All this crazy ass fluorescent, fluorescent ice cream? Cherry? I hate it. Oh, shit. Build some tray leche. It's not good. Oh man. 